Hey guys, today we have something so exciting. We're gonna be playing a game today that doesn't involve people's feelings. <laughs> so it's gonna be it's, so it's gonna be good. <laughs> mm-hmm. It would be fun to do bingo, but with a photographer version where we have like all the struggles and the suffering that we've been through, and we just put it in a card, right? That's that's fun. That's it's exciting stuff, right? All the things that we've that we've been traumatized by and. We're just gonna put it in one bingo card, we're gonna read through it, and then we're gonna make it into a game, right? What better way to deal with trauma than to make it, right? It's, that's a terrible idea, and that's why I'm doing it. So grab your popcorn, grab your Kleenex, grab the number to a therapist. You might need it after this video, okay? Because we, you know, I don't know, like some of this stuff like really affects me. I'm just, I've been seeing these bingo cards floating around the internet. Uh, Camera Brand actually did their own version of a bingo card and I thought I would just use that until I saw what was actually on the bingo card and it was really a lot of, <laughs> I'll say it, just, it's very like nice stuff. Like, what was it? What did they put? Ma uh, Self-portrait, bokeh lights, macro flower. I'm like, listen, I need some drama. I need like when, when was the last time I cried myself to sleep? I need stuff like that. When my lens broke, my memory card stopped working. That's I wanted, That's what I wanna see. And this card was, this isn't even a bingo card. This is like a inspirational quote on Pinterest to be honest with you. Like, a pattern created by light, fall foliage. Like this is like some positive stuff right here. <laughs> and I didn't wanna do it, so. <laughs> One of my friends, Brandon, made a bingo card and I wanna check it out and, and fill it out and see what we get. So uh, let's check his card out, shall we? I have Brandon's pulled up here. Let me go to the first one. Made a tripod out of books. I've used like Kleenex boxes. I've used I don't know, books, magazines. Not that we read, let's be real here. We're not reading any of that stuff. We just use it to, to make things look nice. So <laughs> I definitely made a tripod out of books. So I'm circling that. FaceTime photo shoot. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of, <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I'm just tired of seeing them. It's just like a really fancy selfie. You're helping somebody take a selfie, <laughs> in my opinion. So I haven't done that yet. I wanted to, I'm not gonna lie, I wanted to when I tried to plan one, and then I just didn't. I'm like, I'm kind of over it, so I'm not gonna be doing that. Increase clarity on an out of focus photo. All right, so I've been tempted to do that, but I usually don't because it never ends up looking nice. It just looks like a, it looks like a blurry photo that's just had the clarity slider put to 100. Like you can tell. I'm not fooling anybody, so no, I'm not circling that. Okay, photo shoot at sunrise. Yeah, I did this one time, like years ago, when I really had more motivation, and I'm like, yeah, let's wake up and get nice pic. Now I'm like, I'd rather just be sleeping, <laughs> but I did do it, so we're circling that. No photo credit. Yeah, definitely. How about this? I someone else is credited. How about that? <laughs> Underwater photography. I have not done this yet. I've wanted to, but. It takes a lot of planning and I honestly haven't found the right model for it that can like hold your breath underwater for like 50 minutes. We don't wanna, <laughs> I know you can't hold your breath for that long, but basically you have to find the right person for that specific photo shoot. Yes, and I ended up paying $4,000 to get it fixed. So we're circling that because I didn't pay 4K for nothing. You know, gotta get my money's worth on this bingo card. <laughs> I've had more than a hard drive corrupt, let me tell you that. My friendships corrupted, relationships, like my even my Nintendo Switch corrupts halfway into having people come in my island. I mean, it's like nothing's working for me. <laughs> Everything's going wrong. Edited in Photoshop, definitely. I mainly edit only in Photoshop. I use Lightroom to batch process my photos and as a supplement editor, so. Next one, said you're bugged when you're not. <laughs> I'm getting called out. Ooh. I have. I have. Ooh. I'm a terrible person. <laughs> but it was, I had good intentions, okay? I didn't want to hurt anyone's, fe anyone's feelings. Like, oh, God. <laughs> Listen, we know you've done that too. Don't act like, you know, you've never done that to get out of something. We, and even if it's not photography, we know you, you know, oh, I have to vacuum my room. I ha my, my, it's my cat's birthday today. We all know we've used excuses to get out of stuff. So taking a self portrait. Yes, I have done this, but I can't say the pictures turned out. Even, even I can't take a picture that I like of myself. So I don't know. It's, I'm very picky when it comes to having my picture taken. So we'll see when I want to do that again. Ruined a roll of film, yes, because I was trying to rewind the film 
and it didn't it wasn't rewinding so I thought hey I'm smart I, I went into a closet turned off all the lights opened the back of the film camera I know you guys are probably like maybe cringing right now so I opened the back of the film camera took the film out manually and tried to stuff the film back into the film canister and it didn't I got like maybe halfway through and then it wouldn't go in anymore and now I just have all this film and I wrapped it in like a fabric so that the light wouldn't shine on, I don't even know it's, it's in my closet somewhere <laughs> it's undeveloped at this moment shot with lens cap on I'm the queen of this <laughs> especially during a photo shoot where I work with somebody for the first time and I start out by shooting with a lens cap on and they like they I think in their head they're thinking what who have I hired today <laughs> Are we getting any pictures at all from this girl? Uh, you are? Don't worry girl, I got you. <laughs> so shot with lens cap on, that's getting circled. That's that's very generous of you, Brandon. Thank you for that free one. Because I know I'm getting like 15 bingos from this one. <laughs> Hated every photo on a shoot. There are photo shoots when before we even begin, I'm like, this is, I don't even know if this is going to turn out, you know. Um, and then I take the pictures and while I'm shooting, I'm like, mm, let's just wrap this up. There could be so many factors as to why you're not inspired during a photo shoot. But in the situation, what I do is I just shoot the best that I can. And then I just leave the shoot for like a week or two and then come back to it and just pick at least one or two pictures. And you're not always going to like all the pictures that you take. So trespass for a photo. I get really uncomfortable doing this and if I can avoid it, I absolutely will. Sometimes when you're with a group of people or you're doing a video and someone suggests like an area that maybe you're not supposed to be shooting in, you just feel the pressure to be like, okay, I guess I'll take a couple pictures here. Maybe we won't get caught, but I just hate that feeling and I try to avoid it because I really don't like trespassing or bothering people or getting yelled at. So. Camera goes everywhere with you. Actually, no, if I don't absolutely need to have my camera with me, I just, I won't take it because it's bulky. I don't really like taking it everywhere with me. Some photographers, especially when they're on vacation, they take their camera everywhere. For me, unless I'm doing a specific photo shoot or YouTube video, it stays in the hotel or it stays at my house. And I'll, I'd rather take like a small film camera or a little point and shoot instead of my big setup that weighs like 15 pounds and have to lug it around with me so i'd just rather not do that so that doesn't apply to me ugly location challenge definitely i mean i grew up in an ugly location so this one speaks to my soul <laughs> and i like taking things that are not conventionally pretty and making them into something really cool and using it to make a fashionable photo broken a prop nope but i've broken some hearts <laughs> I'm just joking. that's not true that's don't let's no edit that in <laughs> ask the stranger for a photo i earned this circle i earned it i've asked a stranger for a photo and more than, in different countries and different languages we did lebanon we did korea we did japan we did the original series in la so i've been asking people for pictures and getting rejected since forever so it's a part of me <laughs> exceeded camera shutter count oh yeah for sure shot a wedding i've shot quite a few i actually really love shooting weddings gone asked for raw photos definitely i think at one point when you're first starting out you will be asked for raw pictures just, just say no and with no explanation <laughs> i don't have them actually they're all jpeg <laughs> they actually come retouched so i can't give you the raw i don't even have them they don't exist <laughs> i'll pay you an exposure it's surprising because there are such big brands, companies, and businesses out there that just don't want to pay us, even though they benefit the most from our pictures. Without our photos, they would not have any content. Think about a magazine without pictures. What do they have? You, a newspaper. I mean, even a newspaper has pictures, actually. So the fact that they can't pay us for the bulk of their content that they are selling and making, making a profit from, that is not okay. We deserve to be paid. So when companies like that, magazines especially, want to approach me and just say, oh, like we'll pay you an exposure, but can you just like photograph this entire seven page spread and we only accept brand name designer clothes and your model has to be agency signed and you have to have makeup and hair and it has to be a different location and, it, and the story has to be cohesive. No, sis, 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 calm down. Calm down, sister. Listen, Kevin, don't email me about your obscure magazine 
asking me for a 10 page editorial when you're not offering me anything substantial what do you, a credit exposure come on not only is it disrespectful it just goes to show how little they care they just don't give a shit. they're like actually we're not gonna pay you we're gonna pay you zero dollars actually um but here's a here's a tag for you peasants here you go if you have venmo credit card paypal you got a friend in me even cash i accept cash too um dropped your camera actually i've never done this i'm very cautious about my stuff so that's thankfully never happened to me and the last one photo shoot at night i have done this i think brandon kind of inspired me to do photo shoots at night his photos always come out amazing so yeah i think uh it's not something that i normally do but brandon i just want to thank you for making this hilarious and very cute bingo board i hope you guys enjoyed seeing me fill it out let's see what did i did i get a bingo here let me see oh my god i got wow i i almost filled up the whole board <laughs> i don't know whether that's like terrible or it's impressive but it's both that's the world of photography right you get a little bit of everything sprinkle in some crying at night sprinkle in like 5,000 likes on your picture. It's great. It's good. You feel every emotion. <laughs> Just the whole spectrum, really. Photographer life. <laughs> All right, that's it. Bye, guys. <laughs> See you. I'm gonna go find my cat.